hey guys Arpita here welcome back to my channel today I'm doing this uh, makeup uh, tutorial uh, this is a day two makeup look in this uh, Navarati series so I thought I'll be doing uh, all this 10 days a uh, different uh, color makeup look so yesterday we did uh, purple uh, makeup uh, colors which we used on a purple or a bluish eye today I have selected pink because uh, pink is a color that everyone wants to create because uh, it's a common color everyone will have the outfit and the, they want to complement with the uh, the makeup look so i created this a pink which uh, goes with almost all the outfit outfit like a indian or a western if you are wearing a pink top a lehenga or a skirt something like that so i have paired up with the pink lips as well and also eyeshadows on a light dark, dark pink shades hope you will like this video let's set the video without wasting any time before proceeding please please subscribe to my channel that will mean a lot for me to create more and more videos like this let's quickly begin the video tutorial and see how to create this uh, pink makeup look so to start off the makeup today i'm first using a toner uh, because i want uh, this uh, makeup look to be fresh enough so i'm using the kaya purifying toner so i'll just uh, spray directly onto my face let this sit for uh, one to two minutes and then we'll start with the priming for the primer, I'm using the Max Factor Face Infinity Primer. Uh, this has a SPF 20 in it. It's not a great primer, uh, I suggest, uh, but uh, if you want to hydrate your skin, uh, this is the perfect. It doesn't cover your pores in uh, such an extent. It doesn't give you a matte finish. So if you are uh, going for a matte look or uh, something like that, this is not the primer. But if you are uh, going with a healthy glow skin makeup look, you can use this. So. I'm applied on my T-zone area. For the foundation, I'm using uh, in uh, Royal Paris in Fabular 24 Hours Foundation. So I'm just taking a one pump of that on back of my hand, and I'll be dotting it all over my face and neck. This is little bit light for me, but it has a great coverage. So I love this foundation to be used on a festive season when I want a high coverage. This is the perfect foundation to be used. So let me blend it using a brush. So I have nicely blended the foundation. This foundation oxidizes a lot and it will set to your skin tone. So don't worry if you feel cakey at starting. It will blend into time. So for the concealer, I am taking a lollipop concealer this is one of my favorite uh, for everyday use this doesn't have a, a heavy coverage or a brightening up property but it gives a good uh, cover of uh, dark circles and uh, as it has an orange undertone it will cancel out all the darkness that i have under my eye area so i'm just applying it under my eye area and i'm blending it using the beauty sponge You can see how uh, instantly it cancelled out all my darkness that I have around my eyes. So that's why I like this uh, concealer a lot. So the next uh, cream product I'm using uh, today is uh, this uh, blush from uh, Makeup Revolution Vivid. This is in the shade uh, pink I believe. I'm not sure about the... Uh, shade I'll just mention in the description box so I'll just uh, take a little pump of that onto my fingers so I'm applying that uh, blush onto my cheeks using all the cream product at once and uh, blending it and setting it with powder is what I like so I have just applied that grabbing a brush let me blend it nicely cream product takes time in blending so we need to give time for that you can uh, improve the color as per your requirement that's it i just want a pinky glow i'll be setting this on with a pink powder blush later so let us uh, set all the cream products in place for that i'm using uh, my mac uh, studio fix uh, compact so what i'll do i'll just uh, take it on the buff and i'll set the under eye area t-zone area and also chin 
I'm not touching the cream blush what I have applied with this compact this will lighten up the color we will set the blush with a pink powder blush later so I have set the remaining area with the compact to set the powder blush I have taken the Maybelline's V blush palette it has a beautiful pink blush in it so I'll just take the two color dab of the excess and set that blush you got to get how nicely we got the pink glowing face shadow i'm using the maybelline's uh, diamond palette it has a beautiful uh, dark pink light pink and also dark uh, color in it so i'll be using this palette alone today so i'll be grabbing this uh, dark color first onto my brush and i'll be applying that on my outer v area just to give a depth just place the color and drab inwards This will give a depth to your eyes. Next, I am taking the dark pink color right over there and I will be applying that to on my grease area where I have applied the dark eyeshadow. Just below that, I am placing the dark pink color and I am blending it inwards. We are just intensifying the colors. First we have applied the dark color then I have taken a dark pink color if you observe I am not taking the color down the line but I have just placed it below the grease next we will take the lightest color from the palette and I'll be applying oh it has lot of uh, fallback applying from the inner lid Till where I have applied the dark color and blend it with the dark eyeshadow take a clean blending brush and bring all the colors together and you can now make it a dark outer V by placing a dark eyeshadow what I have applied if you want a more depth or a more smoky look just blend all the colors all together so that we don't have any harsh edges so I am taking a kajal pencil and I am drawing a liner out of it very close to my lash line with the same kajal pencil I am just tight lining my lower waterline as well I am not taking below the waterline but uh, just placing it on the waterline till the edge I'm not creating any winged eyeliner today if you want you can go with a winged eyeliner as well I'm taking the same dark pink color what I have applied in my grease area on a small pencil brush like that and I'll be applying on my lower lid as well from the outer one third not for the inner one third and I'll connect it to my upper lid To finish up the eye look, I have taken the Maybelline's Hyper Curl Mascara and I will be applying on my upper and lower uh, lashes. For the blush, I have taken the Lacme Face Sheer. Uh, this is what it looks like. It comes in a very powdery format. So I will just uh, grab that on a brush, a small brush and I will apply on highest points of my cheeks the eyeshadows what we have used today has a lot of shimmers so i am using this highlighter which will complement with the eyeshadow what we have applied you can see how nicely we got the golden -ish. for the lips i am using uh, this uh, lip crayon which i got it from zada i am not sure about the brand and i am also using the mood matcher which i got in a fab bag so first i am drawing the liner and i'll top it up with the mood matcher this will give a great pink color this 
so that's the finished look i paired up with the pink uh, lips as well hope you have enjoyed it if you want a more festive you can pair up with the bindi as well but uh, today i am not uh, going to put any bindis so this is going perfect with my outfit as i am wearing a pink top so hope you have enjoyed my video if so please subscribe to my channel and also comment below which is the next color you want to see in this uh, navrati makeup uh, series i'll be very happy to do, do that uh, thank you so much for watching this video love you all see you in my next video bye